hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is naomi if this is your first time here you're so welcome and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back i really do appreciate you so today i'll be showing you guys a mini makeup tutorial um i had um jennifer come into the studio today for us to create a very sultry subtle eye look and a bit of um drama with the lips yeah kind of <laughs> my vibe from the um thumbnail you already know so this is a step-by-step -step, um process so i already cleansed her skin i primed i didn't use a lot of primer because she has like a very um normal skin like there is really any wrinkles or open pores so and the skin was very well balanced like it wasn't too dry it wasn't too oily so i didn't want to go crazy by over mattifying it because she didn't really needed it so i used a pore minimizer just on um the center of her face and then i went in with some um sheer foundation from nuban beauty and one um semi soft matte foundation from zaron cosmetics i'm going to leave all of the product i'll be using in my description box if you like what you see already please give it a thumbs up that's how youtube knows that if this video is nice i do show it to more people so please hit the like button leave me a comment below if you have any questions and uh yeah right so i sincerely apologize for my dog if you hear my dog backing behind like as i'm doing this voiceover he doesn't like strangers and so once anybody he doesn't know walk past the gate he starts to back so i'm going to quickly do this voiceover before somebody he doesn't know walk past the gate <laughs> anywho so i'm using um the nuban beauty concealer to highlight her under eye area Aside the sultry eye that I wanted to create, I wanted her skin to be as flawless as possible. I mean, that's the in thing right now. And I've always loved skin. I've always been attracted to good skin. I think that a good skin work is sort of the first thing people see. And um, blending is the only way your skin work is going to come out great. My teacher once <laughs> told me that you have to blend until your hand begins to ache and not just blending with all your strength i mean that simple tap 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 that we keep doing you know if you do it long enough harsh lines will disappear and uh, you'll have a flawless skin so take your time if you're doing makeup on yourself or anybody try as much as you can to blend try to match colors on the skin try to match under skin tone which is another thing i noticed the foundation i was using was a bit um warm and from her chest i'm seeing that her undertone is a bit yellowish so i knew i needed to um you know um you know make it work with my concealer so when i went into my concealer the concealer was a bit whitish on camera but really if you if i'm looking at it like for real it has a bit of yellow tint to it so um yeah that was the vibe and then the powder that i used i didn't want to go straight in with a white translucent powder i wanted to use a banana powder that has a bit of yellow um um, highlight or undertone to it so that it can match um, her and even the face powder I use all over her face it had a bit of yellow um, to it so that's what I use to um, combat all of that warm warm vibe the foundation was giving so at the end of the day the look pretty much came together her face wasn't looking as red or as warm as it were so everything kind of matched so whatever you're doing you want to make sure that you're tying the makeup to her neck or her chest in must match whatever part of her skin that's very obviously eye that's open you know because people will always immediately look at her face and look at her body and be like oh there's a difference and if there's a difference that's a problem you you see so as a makeup artist we always always try to make sure that you're matching your clients under skin tone and skin tone right and skin type right right so yeah
so for eyeshadow i pretty much used a um brown shade that's almost as close to her skin tone and then i used that on her crease and i used a very um translucent color on her lid then i applied some um, pigment from Losta cosmetics and i pretty much popped on some lashes added um, mascara um, i lined her waterline and her tight line as well because i do not want any fleshy color showing um after i i fixed the lashes so yeah now i'm just dusting off all the powders from her face of course the ss powder underneath her eyes was supposed to catch any fallout from the eyeshadow so that it doesn't stain my skin work and now i'm just um, going ahead to do her lips her lips are pretty full and yeah i also wanted to line the lips i, I think i overlined the lips a little bit i like the vibe that it was giving because right now the lips is going to be the most attractive um part of the makeup today so i thought i was going to go really really bold with like brown and some orange but i just decided to you know, go with brown and some nude these lipsticks i'm using um the first one i used to line her lip is from zaron cosmetics and i'm using the huda beauty soft matte lipstick in the middle i'm going to have a smack and blend while i blend the sides together and uh, i'm going to clean the sides of her lips as well love how it turned out it looks incredibly beautiful i love full lips man like it's so beautiful look at that i'm just doing final touches making sure that both sides of the lip are um, equal and they're beautiful and the lips is well blended Alright, so if you haven't given this video a thumbs up right now, what are you even doing? Please kindly smash the like button, subscribe below, join this family. We post tutorials like this almost every Friday and uh, um, leave me a comment below. <laughs> if you love this makeup, if you have any questions for me, please let me know in the comment section. Don't also forget to follow me on Instagram for more pictures and up close videos of this look. So video has not ended. I decided to change the lip. I think I added a lip gloss towards the end of the video. Please stick, stick around and see how I applied all of that. Oh my god, she's so pretty. What? I'm so proud of this makeup. Like, what? What? Look at skin. Like, I'm not even there yet. Like, I don't use the most expensive makeup products. Like i just use what i have what i know is good and what i trust with my chest my full chest and it comes out so well you see what i mean when you blend very well your makeup will come out extremely flawless like honestly speaking yeah i'm so proud of myself today like this is so beautiful thank you thank you so much everyone thank you for watching if you got to this point thank you i really really do appreciate you Thank you so much and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.